Welcome to the Coach Tyler Show. Hi there. We're back with another episode of the Coach Kyle Show. Um, as we oftentimes say, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. I'm your host, Kyle Day. Remember this show, we, we talk all things soccer, but the ultimate objective here is to impact the lives of young people to live out their purpose. Yes, purpose is very important in these very difficult times that you need to navigate through. Purpose allows you uh, to bring some amount of stability, some amount of inspiration that you can keep moving forward. You know, as we do this show, as I do this show, I think about how many times I've, <clears throat> excuse me, I've gone to YouTube or I've gone to Facebook or I've gone to Google, you know, looking for information that I don't have or listening to something that is impactful, that is inspirational, that can, you know, lift my spirits up. So this show is catering to that for that person who might be looking for something. It's not about the millions, it's about that one person because that one person was me. And it is still me who look for something to move them forward who listen to something to move them forward. So I hope that this show can do that for you. Nevertheless, tonight we want to speak on training to develop. Remember, everything that we say here it's about life because the person plays soccer. So when we speak about training to develop, you might not be a soccer player. You might just be a regular person going about your business. Good night to you, Gemma. Thanks for being on the live. Please share. Hi, Marsha. Good night to you, my lovely sister. I've decided to come through. Awesome. So, as we navigate through this 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 topic, <clears throat> please feel free to comment or ask questions, share the live with your friends, share the live with your teammate. Share the live with your parents. Share the live with your coach. Share the live with your mentor. Okay. They say it takes a community to raise a, a child. So the more you share, there might be something in this in this uh, live broadcast that can impact a life might not be yours, it might not be important to you, but something here might turn an individual around from doing something that they might regret. Or we, whoever we are, or whoever you are out there, might wonder, what could I have done? And this live broadcast 
might be that answer. This, this show is not a common show. Good night, Sonia. It's not a common show. It's not a scripted show. Because none of those things I'm good at. It's authentic. And being authentic is not what you do. It's not what you say. It's what's in your heart that no one can truly see or can truly understand. Most people will say that you are not authentic because of your actions or because of what you would have said. But well, authenticity comes from within. And that is a space that only you and God can dwell in. So as we unpack, as you're about to unpack and navigate through this, this topic, maybe you need to get your pen, maybe you need to get a pod, maybe you need to record it. Because like I said, there might be something in here that can change your life. We'll be right back. <clears throat> Coyote McKinnon and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts, and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote McKinnon and Company. We care. Welcome back to the Coach Kyo Show. You're with Kyo Day here. Um, if you're now joining, just want to say good night. I want to say hello wherever you are. Um, the goal tonight is to is to raise your awareness, to raise your consciousness, to have a fulfilled life. For you soccer players, a fulfilled life is a life full of opportunities. And the great God above said that your gifts will make room for you and bring you before great men. I'll say it again, your gifts, your gifts, your gifts will make room for you and bring you before great men. You know, when I was growing up, I had this desire to be successful at whatever I did. I just had this, I just had this level of commitment. I, what I could remember about my early, my early age, I just had this commitment to whatever I did. If it was my 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 sisters will remind me of me singing and dancing and even being a preacher sometimes, you know, and it was full energy. It was like I was in front of a million people. Everything I did, it was I put my all into it. But wanting to play soccer and wanting to wanting to play football, it was such a desire that every day 
every morning before I went to school. And after school, I, had, I wanted to work so hard with this crazy dream. I trained so hard every day uh, to the point where you know, many people would say, you're wasting your time. There's no, there's no out game here. There's no, there's no opportunities, you know, the labels. Some of you uh, can can comprehend what I'm saying. And this, you know, this this desire to train and to go hard every day wasn't given to me by no one. I can't remember being truly being inspired to get up every day and 5.30 in the morning running behind the bushes. I remember one time about, about 5 o'clock, the place kind of dark in Guyana and I'm running behind the bush and I remember some a few birds flew out of the trees and I, I, to the love of me, I thought somebody was coming after me. I was screaming and, and it's, it's, it's me alone. I, I had no reason to scream, but that's scary it was. I remember times of, you know, for people who live in Linden and in Guyana, we talk about the Sand Hills. I remember days and days just running and up and down with tears sometimes. The times when I would vomit, you know, but I never did it in the in the eyes of, of people. For whatever reason, like I said, the, the I had no one there saying, this is how you do things. This is this this is what you need to go through. This is what it feels like. This pain of wanting to train and, and go and be committed to what you're doing. There's many stories that most people can't even comprehend. Not being able to comprehend, it's... It's easy to judge. What I didn't know back then, though, I was intentional. Not truly understanding what that was. I was downloading so much data within my training. I was learning so much about myself and then truly understand. They were, I had no guided discovery. I had no Q&As. This was me, the sun, the rain, the trees, the pain, the suffering. But at that age, it was always intentional create such a mind that oftentimes become dangerous, it becomes isolated. We're talking about training to develop. Musashi said it best. He says, you can only fight the way you train. See, back then I didn't know how intentional I was. How I was building this autonomy, this self-awareness, this self-confidence. That might be you. That might be you every day getting up with this desire to be successful, this desire to go hard and anybody else can go. This desire to block out all the songs and 
all these things and keep moving forward, pushing down barriers. That might be you. And in spite of all of that, it could be defined as arrogance. It could be defined as self-centeredness. It could be defined as selfishness. See, I was training with a specific picture in my head of where I wanted to be, what I believe it took. Maybe I blocked out the world. Maybe, maybe I learned how to block out all the negativity. Maybe I became self-aware of where my weaknesses are and where my strength lies. Maybe, just maybe. I don't know. I don't really know. I was young. I was hungry. I had a desire. I had a will to change my story. To change the narrative. It's training to develop this intentional way created autonomy. I had no clarity about that. It was like magic. I was doing things that, how did that happen? See, whatever you download in, whatever you download, the brain sees it and it knows how to function because you've done it intentionally time and time and time again. Training to develop. Clear picture. where you want to go, what you want to do, how are you going to do it? There's something about God and how he created us that this repetition that we have to go after our goals and aspirations allow us to function with autonomy. If you don't know what that means, is to do things without instructions. Like brushing your teeth. You first learn how to do that through maybe your parents, maybe your siblings, whoever. But you've done it so many times that now you get up and you, it's just automatic. You don't need, you get up sometimes, you just start walking to the, to the bathroom. Without even actually processing that. Because that's what the brain knows. I was doing that. Now I understand. Now I understand. What training to develop really means. Not because I had to be there. Not because I had to go and run. Not because I got up five o'clock in the morning. Not because I was asked to do that. I wasn't asked to get up and go run. I wasn't, there wasn't no motivation. The only motivation was this crazy dream. I remember I had friends who would want to go run. They would go once, they go twice, and it was like, no, I can't. Tomorrow. <laughs> and then tomorrow turned 
to next month. But I would go every day and being intentional. When we come back from this break, I want to discuss with you how, how we train to develop. Stay tuned. We ask you to start compact. Now, when this ball is here with JP, we want to be able to force them to the right side of the field. But Henry, you must start on the inside of the field, Henry, to give up this on the outside. Do you understand? Yeah. Alex is stepping to force him right So, right? Alex is, if Alex come out to the block, right, if Alex come out to the block, then Alex must be able to force JP to the right side of the field. Do you guys understand? Okay? And then, once they go right, then we keep them right side. And we stay compact. Let's go again. Come on. Welcome back to the Coach Kyle Show. Sorry for that bit of difficulty, technical difficulties there. I wanted you, you to see how intentional we were uh, based on what we what we spoke about in the bit in the graphic um, and what the players were able to go and implement, uh, being intentional, <coughs> excuse me, with training to develop. Please share the live. Um, Please support the, the camera same movement. Um, obviously, you can see our cash app just to the left of your screen. Um, we are here to impact the lives of young people from all walks of life. <clears throat> we can only do it with um, with your support. So please do if you can. I pray that it will return to you a uh, hundredfold. Training to develop. Training to develop. You with Coyote. If you're now joining this live uh, program, I want to speak to you about one key component. Um, if you will truly train to develop. One, I think this one lays the foundation and it truly um, guides you to reaching your goals. It gives you an opportunity to truly understand your process from where you are to where you need to be. This component is understanding your why. W-H-Y. Understanding your why. You know, when, it, when I would go to these, uh, when I would go to my coaching badges, my A license and, and, and so, so on and so on, um, I really thought that I understood my why. Really thought I did. But oftentimes we <laughs> we blindly say that we're blind. One one famous person said that we oftentimes we oftentimes blindly say we are not blind. It's not knowing where you are and thinking you are there.
Are you that person? And blindly saying that you are not blind? If we don't have to think deeper about our why, and we have a superficial, on the surface answer, then we're blindly saying that we're not blind. Our why cannot be superficial. The reason why it cannot be a why, because your why sets the tone for your behaviors. Behaviors exhibit determines results. How does that work? How does it work? Your consciousness, what goes in? What you're able to articulate is downloaded to your subconscious, your subconscious brain. This subconscious brain is what you're operating on most of your day. Most of your decisions comes from your subconscious brain. Most of your decisions. And I think I've done that in a podcast before. You could go back and, and listen to it. Um, the Coach, I think, was that podcast. That dictates your behavior, and your behavior produce, produces results, negative or positive. If you're going to train to develop, you must understand this process. You are not performing your task with your consciousness. It starts with your consciousness, what you hear, what you see, what you've been taught. Especially if it's a it's a repetitive action, it is downloaded. So if you're downloading a lot of junk, if you're downloading what your past would have said, if you're downloading what what limitations would have been set. If you're downloading what everybody else is saying, it will determine your behavior. It's not a choice. When something at your consciousness, at your consciousness, you're able to accept or reject at your consciousness. When something gets to the level of your subconsciousness, it's on autonomy. It's autonomy now. It's automatic. You no longer have the ability to reject. You have to restart the process and rewire your brain, like Caroline Leaf said. If you have a chance, read her book. Rewire your brain. You have to restart that process and download new data. You just can't say, like, you know, people who say, oh, I'm going to change. I'm going to change. They, they say it. You know, I've said it. I've said it a million times. Not knowing. Not being taught. Not truly understanding. So I have some, you know, I have some empathy with those who are struggling with I'm not going to do, I'm not going to say, but they find themselves doing the same thing because you, you don't understand why. 
you're not training yourself to develop correctly. Because you believe it's at the level of your consciousness. It's not. It's at the level of your subconsciousness, what you have downloaded. So you have to go back. You have to go back. You know, we, you know, we talk about it from a, from a religious standpoint. They talk about people putting curses on your life and all of these things. They, they talk about the spiritual aspect. But we have a responsibility because also, if we go to the biblical side of things, he said, I could you I could do you can do exceedingly abundantly above what I what you can ask or think according to the power that worketh in who? In you. According to the power that worketh in us. So there's a, there is something in us that we need to be able to connect with to start the process. Because it was given to us. We're talking about training to develop, and a lot of young players are struggling to really maximize their potential because they don't know why. This is a component that was missing in my life for a very long time. Because you deal with the superficial aspect of things. What happens? You there's a there's an instant reaction, it's fight or flight. It's I do. This is what happened. I do. Once again, most of you out there, young people, you're not being taught of these things. You're not being taught that they will come, they will happen. And you you're left to make decisions or to make these better decisions after you would have made repetitive mistakes that you now cannot just wake up and consciously say, I'm going to change it. You're not. Because it's downloaded. That's the danger of not having parents who train you up in a way that allows you to understand and know how to deal circumstances and situations that makes that helps you not to download stuff because once you start downloading once you start allowing it to come in it goes deeper and it goes deeper and it controls your behavior that behavior leads you to result. <laughs> this is important. You must understand our why. And if our thinking is only superficial, if we we have not learned to think deeper and we're blindly saying that we're not blind. Your why sets the tone. Train and develop. When you're training to develop, you must be clear about your why. Your why is the most important thing, the most important part of your life. You want to know why? I will tell you when we get back from this break. Stay with me. <laughs> This is why we are important, uh, because we are not catering to what the, what the world wants to see. We're not catering to what people's perception is. 
We're not catering to politics, we're catering to truth, we're catering to right, we're catering to, uh, to, to young people having their own identity and fulfilling purpose. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. You're with your host, Kayo Day. I want to thank you for staying with me. Um, please share. Don't be selfish. Uh, someone might be, might need this um, to change their lives, to make a different decision, to bring more clarity. Okay, so please share. Okay. And subscribe to, to the channel, Kyrie McKinnon and Co., uh, so that we can reach more young people, so that we can impact their life, their lives in a meaningful way. We're talking about training to develop, and the most important aspect of that is understanding your why. What is why? How is why so important? Why is purpose? I'll say it again. Why is purpose? And we know purpose is a reason for doing something. You were born with purpose. You were born with a reason. You didn't just drop out of the sky. We're born with a reason. And I like the story of the men with talent. One with five, one with four, one with three. And we know this, some of us know the story. I, I love that story. If you get a chance, you could go to Matthew 20, 25, 14 to 30. You see, there's, there, there, there is a, there's a manual. For all of us to use, we use the manual for everything else. We use the manual to fix our laptop. We, we use the manual to drive our cars. We use the manual to use to 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 use our phones. We, we use the manual. We use manuals for everything. Why don't you think there's a manual for life? So we're gonna listen to every we're gonna listen to every single thing we hear and and try to figure out what is true and what is lie when there's a manual that, that says how we can we can live. But like building something, you're you don't always follow the manual. Sometimes you want to do things your own way. Because you believe it gets you there quicker. But then you try to fix the cupboard and you, you don't want to use the mind. You think something needs to go somewhere and then boom, it falls down. And you're like, oh, you know what? I need to go right back to the manual and figure it out. That's okay too. Because in that moment, you learn something. See, everything is to teach you something. It's how you look at it. It's, it's, it's your perspective. So... They had these different talents. With and out of all, out of all of these guys, one didn't understand his reason for the talent he had. So he decided, but well, I only you have five, I have one, I will keep my one. He didn't understand why. He was given one. You see, you will only get what you can manage in life. You wonder why you have what you have? Maybe because that's the only thing you can manage. What you should be trying to do is learning to manage what you have so that you can have more. Maybe that's something to think about. I don't know. I'm not a philosopher. I just, follow, I just follow a manual. But the one with five, he understood his reason. He understood the purpose. And the story goes on to say that he got, he was able to get double and also, 
also was given the one that Mr. Man decided that he was going to, I will keep my one. Because I didn't understand the purpose. <laughs> Understanding purpose leads you to obedience. We're talking about training to develop, you know. If I'm training and I don't understand my why, I don't understand my purpose, I don't understand my reason for what I'm doing, it takes away obedience. What is obedience? Listening. To be obedient is to listen. So look at this. Your why purpose cause you to be obedient, listen. So when you are with purpose, you listen. The best skill of learning is listening. You are not a good communicator until you learn to listen. For years, I didn't really understand. I didn't understand a lot of things, unfortunately. Maybe, just maybe, I didn't need to understand it then. I quote Stephen R. Convey. He says, most people do not listen with the intent to understand, they listen with the intent to speak. Oh. You, you're training to develop. You don't understand your purpose for being there. So you lack obedience, that means you lack the ability to listen, which is the best skill of learning. So understanding cannot happen. Once you understand your purpose, obedience, listening is established. You must become a third degree listener. That might be something you can go and research on your own. What is a third degree listener? This produces understanding. Understanding is a word that most people don't truly, cannot define what that means. To understand is an action, to do an action without instruction. Did you have you ever some of you coaches who might be listening? You 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 say to you 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 say to the player, listen, and we go back in. I want you to run to the outside. Once you get there, change your action and come to the middle of the field and play a combination. Do you understand? Yes, coach. You in your own personal life, because I know there's not only soccer, soccer people here. So I'm trying to speak to speak in general so that we all get the concept of training to develop. I'm saying to you, this is how this affects me and it puts me in this place. Do you understand? Yeah, I, I understand. Just like the player, they go on the field and the situation changes. And they don't know what to do. 
Now the coach is the coach is going mad. He's going crazy because you just said you just giving me this idea like you understood what was what needed to happen. But if the coach don't know the true definition of understanding, and it leads to this emotional, uh, this negative energy in motion. It starts with purpose. It starts with why, purpose, reason for doing something, which leads to obedience, the ability to listen and process. And based on repetitive actions, you get to autonomy. Understanding actions without instructions. That is training to develop. And what I'm talking about is not a coach. What I'm talking about, it's about a process. A process that our why must be in alliance with what we do every day to develop. What we say is why? Why is purpose. Every day, every single day. Remember I started off by saying I was doing something that was, I wasn't sure the magnitude of what I was doing. But because it was intentional, it had my why in there. My purpose was in there. It led me to go out every day. So purpose, or the why, was with alliance, was in alliance with the process. This led me to development. It led me to an international and a professional career. So now in the field of guiding young people to their own awareness and to their own consciousness, that they find out, they truly find out who they are. Not what, not what somebody's saying about them, not, not what is their present state, but it's something greater that you have not access yet because of all the negativity. And guess what? Sometimes are the one closest to you. They know you, but they don't know your heart. But they think they should know you, right? Or oh, they think they should know you. After all, we got the same blood. After all, I know what's best. Oh, yeah? Are you sure you know what is in my heart? Because like I said, that is a space that only God dwells. I'm about to bring this show to a close. It's important that you understand your why. When we come back, I will let you know how you truly train to develop. We'll be right back. Improvement is a process, not a quick fix. This December, come to KMSA Winter Supplemental, where you can learn all the principles of the four moments of the game. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. You with Kayo Day. 
summary. I'm about to bring it to the end. Let me take this time to say thanks. Thanks for staying through this process. Training to develop must start with purpose. You must know your reason. It must be clear. It must be with clarity. And if you truly want to know your reason, you have to speak to the source. You have to speak to the source. It's not just your own idea. There's a source of life. And that source knew you before you were formed. And your greatness was already established. There's an inheritance. And you haven't accomplished what you want to accomplish yet within this game, within life. Maybe because you're not following the roadmap. Just maybe. It could be many other factors. If you understand the source, then it leads you to obedience and it leads you to listening. As a fight, that is a battle. It's not easy. Because on one hand, you there's something that you have to do and then there's something that you want to do. The idea is to overcome the things that you want to do and do the things that you're supposed to do. But it's a fight. It's a battle. You must, and you should never go to the battle without good soldiers, without quality people. Because if you go to war, and you go down this path without quality people, they will talk about your deficiencies, but they never help you to build your strengths. They will talk about your shortcomings, but they will not tell people about your strengths. So guess what? You might be wondering why the coach not calling you. You might be wondering why you're not getting to the next level. It just might be the people close to you. Because that's all they know. Yeah. You know, I wonder sometimes, right, why it's so easy to talk about the things that are not good. Maybe because it's, it, it feeds people appetite. I wonder why it's so easy to, to, to do the wrong things. I always, I wonder. It's so easy. This, this. It's no challenge. There's, there's no, you don't even need an effort really to do the wrong things. You don't need an effort to gossip. You don't, you don't need none of that. But ask somebody to don't gossip who likes to gossip. They'll be like, oh, my God, this is too hard. Ask somebody to go and train 5 o'clock in the morning every day. They'll be like, oh my gosh, I, it's cold, it's 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 too hot, it's too dark, it's 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 so many things. But you will see them five o'clock in the morning, maybe on Instagram doing something. So easy, such a hand reach. It's listening, drives understanding, purpose, reason. Source leads to obedience, the ability to listen. 
not with the intention to speak, but to go past the super the superficial things, to go past, to go past the surface, to know what is happening deeper. Yeah. This drives understanding. We talk about understanding his actions, behaviors. The more actions, the more effective actions, the more effective behavior. Effective behaviors lead to autonomy. It's from an intrinsic place. It has nothing to do with the external factors of life. It's what is happening on the inside of you. It's awareness and consciousness are in harmony with moving you. Having this awareness, having this consciousness. Creates this harmony that moves you from where you are to where you need to be. That is the developmental process. That is how you train. That's how you train in life. That is how you train on the field every day. You must be obsessed. You must be relentless in pursuit of your why, of your purpose. You have to block out the negativity. You have to block out the doubters. You have to block out the ones that bring fear. You have to block them out. It don't matter who they are. Because you've been given this talent. You've been given this gift. I trust that training will look different after tonight. I hope that you're able to hold, hold those who have been given the confidence, who you've put your trust in, to guide you. Good night, Paul Jordan. Thanks for, thanks for coming through. Please share the live. Hi, Shanet. Who you've trusted to guide you. That's a dangerous thing. Repetition is dangerous. I learned the hard way. But that was my path. That was my path. We don't run away from the darkness. We don't run away from the troubles of life. What we ask for is the fate. And every day we have to learn that, every day. So you want to play, you have this big dream, but everybody around you is saying, no, it's not, it don't make sense. It's all about money, it's all about everything else. But you know that you know there's a deep, there's a deep desire that no one on earth can have access to, only you. And you've given those people your confidence and your trust. Listen to what I'm saying to you. They are killing you slowly. Because life without purpose is dead. That means there's no reason for your life. Somebody has given you a reason. That is not the source of your life. Rise up. Rise up. Those that are responsible to guide you through this process, you must understand this so you hold them accountable. Because your life, your mental health, your future needs it. Good night. Enjoy your week. Stay blessed until I see you again next Monday. And I pray something awesome will happen 
in your life. Don't don't matter what don't matter what you were doing yesterday. Don't matter don't matter how they def, they defined you yesterday. <laughs> it's a new day. And what you have the power to do is to decide to change. To decide. You cannot change yourself. You cannot change what have been downloaded. But you could have the faith. And if you have that faith, make sure you walk with quality people. That will watch you move from where you are to where you need to be. And if you're not sure about that, Train by yourself. Stay blessed and have a good night. A wide variety of episodes are already available, chock full of incredible insight from two qualified experienced coaches. Here are some previews of eye opening quotes. Lots of players think they need to drive an hour or two hours to get good training because community clubs do not feel, most of them, if not all of them, don't feel the responsibility to provide every child. The best opportunity. This is for players to have fun. So why not name it Rec? A elite league shouldn't be based on teams. It should be based on the coaching. There's no integrity in the game. It's all about business. It's it, That's all it is. There's nothing about soccer first. Everything is about giving the athletes an experience. We hope you are available to tune in. New episodes every Monday night.